Yes, thanks very much, Colin. Yeah, we saw uh, Cairo warming up in his bright yellow football boots and we thought, well, he's going to be easy to spot. But the Boreham Wood defenders certainly couldn't as he danced round one, two, three and smashed it in. What a goal. Yeah, it was um, quite a good finish and uh, something I've been working on in training, really. So I was just pleased that it came off on the day. Obviously, the side must be pretty low. You've been in the dressing room now. You, you know, there were periods in that game where knots were totally dominant, particularly the first half. But then through your goal to get back in front and still not take the three points, everybody must be a little bit down. Yeah, definitely. I think you've hit the nail on the head there. I think the boys are very disappointed. I mean, like you said, we played very good in parts of the game. And then obviously to have the decision go against us and then to end up drawing the game in the end, it looks like we was pretty much convincing to, to win, really. But yeah, overall, pretty much disappointed. Dream start, wasn't it? Get that early penalty kick, uh, a little bit soft perhaps, but uh, nobody's complaining uh, in the Magpies camp and, and nice to get noses in front. No, exactly. I think it was uh, a great start from the boys, especially in the conditions as well, to come out flying like that. I think it hit Bourne with um, hard and obviously took them by surprise and it worked in our favour. You yeah, obviously, I, I guess on the bench, what, what, what's it like? You're, you're desperate to get on, but you know, you're know you obviously cheering the guys on, on as well and you'd have been more than happy you know, if you'd have sat there, if they'd, if they'd gone on and won the game without you, I guess. Obviously, I mean, f for me, I always want to get on the pitch and do as well as I can and, and help impact the, the game and help the team to do well. So, yeah, to get on and get a goal was obviously um, a, a bright point for myself personally, but obviously, like I said, a bit bittersweet really to, to concede towards the end and enjoy the game. Your head coach has said, you know, he brought you on with a view to a, perhaps a little bit more physicality because Boreham would have got some enormous central defenders, hadn't they? And it just uh, enabled McCauley to play off you a little bit. Yeah, I think, it, like you said, just uh, from the previous interview, I think that um, bringing me on just gives it a bit of a different dynamic and obviously allows Maka to be a bit free in the, in the pocket space. And like, like for the goal, he just found a bit of space, managed to turn and, and slot me in really. So, yeah, it worked out well. There's some immense goal scoring potential now in the Notts County camp and obviously you'll be delighted to you know to get one early on and, and you know get amongst it just show the, the new boss what you can do yeah definitely I think to, to get off the mark early on in the season is a, is a positive and something that um, can only work in my favour for the, for the future because most of the time you've been used as an impact player from the bench haven't you since since coming to Notts County I guess the, the the day where you're a regular starter week in week out is one that you cherish yeah for sure like you said like I always just want to come on and, and do as well as I can, but yeah, to start the game is something that I'm working to push towards doing, so so yeah, correct. I know you didn't do the full 90s, so they made you run up and down a few times as if it's not hot enough. We'll let you get away and get a nice cold drink. Many, many thanks, but congratulations on your goal once Thank again. You.